Los clubes de Ciencia México regresaron en este verano 2014 a trabajar de manera intensiva con decenas de jóvenes que se reunieron en Guanajuato y Ensenada para compartir con investigadores de las más prestigiosas universidades de Norteamérica. En esta ocasión llegaron científicos extranjeros motivados por lo novedoso del proyecto. Here, no, right? Yeah, it's it's a great idea, and as far as I know, there are a lot of people uh, from other countries that, when they heard of this idea, they wanted to do it too. Um, so I I just happened to hear about it from from a friend from the community. I think the the organizers they were they were you know a group of friends who had this idea, um, and then they they sent emails and talked to people in in Harvard and and in some other universities in Stanford. Uh, so wherever they they had a community, they talk to the researchers there and ask them to propose uh, science topics. And I think the format is wonderful because uh, it, it gives us complete freedom to talk about what we love, what, what it is about science that we love. There's a, there's a big difference when you have a classroom and you have to teach them something and you have to give them the entire curriculum and they have to, you know, they will take a test on it. And then there's what we do here, which is a week, a full week, right? Because uh, these kids work very hard. Uh, it's a full week of uh, teaching them only the things that we think are cool and are nice and are interesting without needing to go through all the details. Because now everyone can, can, can look for the information, right? You, you have the internet, you can look it up if you're curious about it. So what's important is that you become curious about it, that you, under, that you know the questions, right? Um, we, we talk about the brain and how it works. Uh, and it's a very, very mysterious, uh, mysterious thing. It's the most complex thing in the universe, actually. Um, and uh, there are many things that, that, to talk about to, uh, to have the kids you know, be interested. You could see that some things, you know, their eyes open and they, they want to know more. And the idea is that after this week, they will want to know more. You know, some of them will go on to, to do science, some of them not. It doesn't really matter if they continue to do science, right? Um, what matters is that they've had the opportunity to see it. El neurocientífico de la Universidad de Harvard impartió en Guanajuato el taller Neurocucaracha, sinapsis, redes del cerebro y los sentimientos de una cucaracha. Insectos que el investigador trajo desde Arizona. We wanted to see if we can understand how they, how they perceive the world, right? So using electrodes basically and electrical impulses because the nervous system works with electricity we tried to record uh, the activity from their brains and also we tried to control the activity of their brains we got them to dance to mexican music by <laughs> by inserting mexican music into their um, brain connections and ultimately the ultimate uh, the ultimate purpose of this um, of this workshop is to the the kids yesterday performed surgery on the cockroaches they implanted electrodes onto into their heads and put a microchip device which uh, we can use a smartphone to communicate with them basically so the idea is to remote control the cockroaches and uh, and in fact maybe even control the cockroaches through our own brain waves we also have a uh, a device that measures human brain activity and we're going to try i don't know if we're going to succeed to use our minds to control the cockroaches through these uh, these microchips. Como siempre, los clubes de ciencia resultan una valiosa experiencia para los participantes que ya esperan ansiosos la próxima edición. Para mí es como, wow, la oportunidad del mundo, porque no es como que todos los días puedan venir a de enseñarnos lo que ellos, con lo que ellos están trabajando, con lo que ellos, no sé, lo que ellos ven allá, y pues es, no sé, es otra cosa, es wow. There is a practical value in uh, training kids that have different ideas, new ideas that are not indoctrinated by the classic ideas because they will be our collaborators. So these, these kids will be the people that I'll be working with in one or two or three years. And these will be the guys that bring the new ideas to the experiments, the new ideas that, that right now we, we don't have, or well, you know, the ones we're missing because uh, you know, a lot, there, everybody comes from their school of thought. So the combination is important and that is going to help me and it's going to help all of us uh, in our research directly. 
Kenia Velázquez, Zona Franca.